Hi everyone and welcome to Introduction to Story Writing. And what we're going to look at in this video is we're going to look at uh, the basic process for writing a story and the basic story structure. So what the basic story structure is, is how you can write a story from beginning, middle and end. It is the best way to write it so it's interesting and that someone would want to read it. Okay, so let's start and look at really the three things that need to have, which is an introduction, a complication, and an ending. So very briefly, we'll go into these more in, in a second. An introduction is where you start your story. A complication is where the problem in the story happens, and we'll go through that a little bit later as well. And the ending is where it all gets wrapped up, everything gets solved, and everything goes back to somewhat normal. It needs to have at least one character, and at least it needs to have an interesting idea or an event to describe. Those are the main things the story needs. Everything else in your story is up to your imagination. So you can start, every story has this sort of basic idea in mind. The rest is where your imagination comes in. And even if you're not a very creative or a imaginative person, if you don't think yourself being very good at that, it doesn't really matter. As long as you have all these things, you have a story. And even your imagination, that will come into it later. All right. Now, your introduction is where we'll start. And introduction is really just where the story begins. It is where you, you tell us who your characters are. So where I say you set up your characters, it's where you introduce them and the things that happen in their lives. So what their normal life is like, what every day looks like for that person or that character. And then you also set up the plot of the story. That is you start describing their normal lives. So you start describing where the, the problem is going to come into it. So you, you set it all up and say, that this is going to be, or this is this character's life, this is what he does, or she does, and then you move from there. So we'll look at an example of it. Frank lived in a boring small town of dry plains in the middle of Australia. All right, so we've got a very ordinary study. He would spend weekdays building a highway for the government and would spend weekend at home with the kids. Finally, he liked his food and his television. So we know a little bit more about this person now. We know that his name is Frank, that he lives in the middle of Australia, that this is what he does. He spends weekends building highways, or sorry, weekdays building highways and weekends with the kids, and he likes his food and TV. All right, very boring, it might seem, but at least we know who we're talking about. We know who this character is, and we're going to know a little bit about him for when we build on our story a little bit later. Now, this is only going to be a very brief story because we don't really have the time to go for a whole story here. But one thing is about this story is that this is how you would introduce it. So you would start with something that is not always boring, not always very ordinary, but something that is a very sort of a lowish sort of stuff. We'll go for it later. 